Welcome to Quarantine Cuisine. Today, five American cooks quarantined at home will make recipes in languages they've never learned without looking up translations or conversions. Let's meet our home chefs as they try to figure out what they're making. No idea what goat bular is. When I see it, I think goat blood. Siatska z kowalkami checko lady. <laughs> Kekarin, um, kuchen, meat, shko, plachen, odor, rosanini. That's probably Spanish. Spanish? <laughs> Brochette makes me think like maybe bruschetta. Sestini di chocolato a la fragola. Could it be a muffin? Like, you know how a muffin like puffs up? I don't know. Well, then I could use that for you. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a beef dish. <laughs> stew, stew, uh, Good stew. No, no, it wouldn't have vanilla extract if it was a, if it was a beef. You dish. don't know the Polish people. White chocolate zucchini. Pasta. Pasta sprinkles. with breadcrumbs and sprinkles. <laughs> kind of come into the conclusion that this might be some kind of a sweet and savory French toast or something. I think it's, it's a cheesecake. Cheesecake. It's a cheesecake. With cinnamon and powdered sugar. With cinnamon and powdered sugar. <laughs> you do it. No, no, you do it because it's German. You can no, I can't, no. What do you need to hermit? Something, the something. <laughs> What's fragoli? That's the really big question here. I think that is cinnamon. Siemna. Green socks bouillon tanning. I see pistache, so maybe pistachios. Green sack of bread crumbs. Bread crumbs, okay. Because it starts with the letter M, that it's milk. Green beans. So we have one deciliter, which I'm pretty sure is not a measurement for green beans. I think that is vanilla extract. Um, zucchini. zucchini. Tea, and the, like legit, the tea is just by itself. Or baking powder, maybe baking powder. Yeah. Melange, I think that's orange. Suck at the lemon. Suck at the lemon. <laughs> it actually says salt, so that's really exciting because I know what salt is, I like salt. This recipe calls for an absurd amount of cinnamon. Does this feel like 24 paper cups? Probably some of this is for me. Oh, that's a lot of weight in the end. Yeah, it is. And I'm gonna put it into a casserole dish. Why is it so chunky? It's because the one other word I understand in there is casserole. See the magic words. A lot of cooking. This is how much 120 grams is ready. I'm gonna count to 12. It's a lot of cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm surprised by is the lack of seasonings involved in this recipe. Oh, that was the wrong side of the pepper. <laughs> ah! <The> cinnamon. Oh! <laughs> 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 Don't you go there. <laughs> it will have a zebra effect. Kind of mix all that in there. Lots of uh, zebras in Poland. It's the zebra capital of the world. I taste like pudding. The Warsaw zebras. Warsaw zebras. You just taste that when you said that I couldn't taste. I would never do something like that. And then we're gonna add some sprinkles to taste. Martha would be so proud. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay, that's the final product. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is Here she is. this is what it looks like. Look at that! It actually doesn't look half bad. <laughs> I can't make myself eat it. You tasted it before, but you never did. Ready? Actually not terrible. Delicious cake with chocolate slices or raisins. Oh, it's a chocolate bath. Oh, that's strawberry cute. Strawberry cream. That sounds really good. That sounds great. It's chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I don't think this is the right translation. 
shrimp and scallops. Plenty buns. So yeah. there's no cinnamon <laughs> at all. Vegetarian buns with sunflower seeds. I knew it. Say Abita Zane. <laughs> Can you say it? Abita Zane? <laughs>